Hey everyone, today I'm excited to share the latest update on Seart Laura's training feature. Now you can train an SDXL Laura with a bunch of useful options. Let's jump in and start training our own Laura model. First, head over to the train section, then click on create data set. Okay, now provide a name for your data set and feel free to upload images you can upload up to 100 images. I'll be using Olivia's photos for this data set as I plan to create a Laura model based on her. Awesome, as we're in the process of uploading, let's start configuring the parameters for training our model. Take note that there's an option to train SDSL models, but for this video, I'll be focusing on creating a portrait model. Now you have the option to select a base model just as I'm doing right now. It's worth mentioning that clicking on portrait or any other option above will provide recommendations for a base model and other settings. Feel free to skip or make changes according to your um, preferences. After completing the upload, you have the option to use the crop mode feature to crop images if desired. If you'd like to crop, choose any mode and set your preferred crop size. If not, you can select no crop. Additionally, you can choose a tagging algorithm or stick with the default, set a trigger word. For instance, I've set Olivia as my trigger word for the Laura model. After configuring, click on crop pack to start the process and then wait for a few minutes. Excellent. Take a moment to review your parameter settings, ensuring that all images are tagged and cropped appropriately. Once satisfied, click on train now to initiate the training process. The train process may take a few minutes to complete, so feel free to check back later. Great. Now that the training process is completed with the requested 10 epics. You can see the results. You can also download the models. Mm -hmm. To publish, simply select the model you wish to publish and click the publish button. In this section, click the plus button. Here, you can provide a name for your Laura. For mine, I'll name it Olivia. Next, set tags. Upload a cover photo and click the next button. Finally, assign a version such as one and click publish. Great. Now that we've successfully published our first Laura, let's try generating some images using it. Start by clicking on generate here. Now click on Laura here and navigate to the My Laura tab. Select the newly created Laura. After selecting your Laura, type in your prompt and hit enter. Feel free to experiment by changing the base model and exploring other options based on your preferences. Awesome. Now, take a look at the result. Additionally, you can click on Creative Upscale to enhance your selected photo with more details. I hope you found something new and interesting in today's video. Don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. See you next time. Thank you.